well hello in this video I'd like to share with you a little creative tip on how to create a custom poster like this in Lightroom now at one time I would have probably done this in Photoshop but it would not have been that easy I'd have had to crop the images square possibly use masks to do it and in the end it wouldn't be that easy to change out the images for a different set but all that changes now in Lightroom it's now easy peasy to make this template in the print module and it's dead easy then to change out the images now there is a tiny bit of Photoshop involved and it's the text at the bottom now this can be as simple or as elaborate as you like as it's saved out as a JPEG image from Photoshop and Lightroom can use it as a custom identity plate well let's dig in okay first let's select some images well over here I've got a folder called print and if I click on that you'll see that I've got down here on the film streak view I've got a lot of images in this folder I just press the G key to go into grid view and you can see here that I've got loads of images in this folder the majority of them are from RAF Waddington which is what I want the poster to be about now there's nine images in the grid so I need to select nine images so I'll just drag this little slider to make the thumbnails a little bit smaller and I'll select the nine I want so I'll just select the first nine so I'll hold the shift key down and click on that so there you can see them selected as well in the film strip so I've now got nine images selected that I want to use I'm going to go now to the print module now all the magic happens here under layout style and what I need is a single image contact sheet layout style and there's several of them in here here I've got a 14b6 a 15b7 doesn't matter which one you start with but it's also showing it's showing the first of the images that I've got selected so how do we go on well let's start with image settings well here I'd like each of the images to fill the cell so I want zoom to fill ticked I, I want everything the right way up so I want rotate to fit ticked as well okay next we'll go to layout and this is where the magic happens first we'll look at the the margins so let's move these margins in and we'll move it to about an inch can be a bit fiddly so I'll, I'll type that in we'll go for one inch and on the right hand side we'll mirror that with one inch again now the top we can move that up and down bottom we can move that up and down okay let's start with a grid well we do that in page grid at the moment we set to one row and one column let's go for three rows and three columns there we are we can see the start of his grid happening we can position it a little bit better using the bottom and the top sliders and also we can look we can put some spacing in between the cells so we'll just open those up a bit on the vertical and we'll open it up a little bit on the horizontal and this is looking pretty good what I want we can also change the height of the cells but we're not really going to get much out of that and a little tick box at the bottom here that I want to is keep square and that will make sure that each one of the images no matter what shape it is ends up being square so now I just need to do a little bit of fiddling with the spacing again just drop that in something like that then I can use my top slider and the bottom slider to bring it down a little bit I think that looks cool I'm going to leave it at that anyway right so now what I want is to change the background color so I'm going to go down to the page tab and I'm going to click on background color and I'd like this to be black so I'm going to select 
black for the background color okay looking good I now want the identity plate to put on the bottom here so I'm going to go and ask for an identity plate and initially it brings out the one that I'm using up here which is my main identity plate you can see it here it's only small but I can drag to make it bigger but that's not the one I want I've actually made one and imported it into Lightroom so I'm going to click this little triangle here and I'm going to click on edit and now we've got the identity plate editor so I'm going to click on locate file and then I'm going to navigate to the Lightroom work file and the identity plate folder where I've got an identity plate called RAF Warrington I'm going to click on that and click to open and then click OK and now I can click this and I can make it bigger to fill that space up right just as a finishing touch I'd like a little white border all the way around these images cells so if I go up to the top here you can see there's something called a stroke border and if I click that it's now put a black stroke border around well black against black you can't see it so what I'm going to do I'm going to change that to white and now with this width slider I can make it either thicker or thinner well I like it very thin so I'm just going to leave it at that well that's now finished and looking good all I need to do now is to save it out now there's two things I can do I can go up here and create a saved print now what this will do is it'll save it but it will save it with these particular images in so if I bring it up again it will I'll always get these images so I'm going to click on that and we'll call this Waddington and I'll click create and this now appears as a collection down at the bottom of the collections called Waddington and it's a print collection so if I click on that and pretty it will always print these images well I also want the flexibility to be able to use other images so I'm going to save it out as a template so if I go up to the top here where you see template browser if I click on the plus I'll now save it out as a template called Waddington oops spell that right and it will save it in user templates so now if I scroll down to user templates you can see now that I've got a template called Waddington and the difference is with the template I can use other images now if I finish this and I find mm, really one of the images I'm not that keen on then all you've got to do is locate that image let's say it's this one and control click to switch it off and then control click on another image to bring it back in of course we haven't got any other images; we've just brought them nine but if you had some others you could easily swap them images out okay that's it how to make a custom poster in Lightroom in the print module with just a little tiny bit of Photoshop tagged on. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.